one of these two Spartan general is going down now. Watch this intense 2v2 battle as Sparta plunges into a civil war. Each faction is supported by a nomadic ally. There's only the most seasoned and renowned DI players at the home steering this epic clash. This battle isn't just close, it's on the razor's edge, where every move counts while the fate of Sparta hangs in the balance of power, I guess. I am playing as Scythia and I'm bringing two Scytho Bosphoran spearmen, three Scythian tribal, sp tribal spears, two Scytho Bosphoran infantry, four Scythian tribal warriors, four Scythian archers, four Scythian horse archers, and one Scythian royal guard. On the left side, uh, Jokun is playing as allied Sparta, he's bringing one Skiritai swordman, two Spartan halots, four Helot archers, two over here and two over here, four Helite tour swordsmen, four Helite tour spearmen, one reformed Spartan Oplite, one royal Spartan bodyguard, as, as general, of course, Helot slingers, two, and one Spartan cavalry. On the opposing side, we have Sparta, led by Blaze. He's got three Helite tour swordmen, four Spartan Helots, two Helot javelin men, two Helot archers, four Spartan hoplites, four allied tour spears, one royal Spartan bodyguard as general. On this side instead we have Geo playing as Archibosphorus, he's bringing two Scythian heavy horse archers, two Thracian footmen, two Scythian medium axemen, four Thracian Romphaya warriors, four Bosphoran Turophoroi, which are like Turio spears but a little worse, four Scythian axemen, one Thracian javelin men, and one bus for a noble cavalry as general. The plan is pretty straightforward. Sparta will be our main infantry force. My infantry isn't great. They're only good for skirmishing and it would get wrecked in melee. My cavalry also needs to shoot because it's cheap and it can't really charge nor fight in melee. I was worried they might move Sparta, enemy Sparta, against allied Sparta and Bosphorus against me. Bosphorus' infantry isn't great either, but it's better than mine in melee, and they have a force that can chase me and force me into melee, which is definitely not what I want. So I hope they keep pushing forward like they are now. Our allied Sparta can handle Bosphorus' infantry, and the enemy Sparta is vulnerable to my cavalry and can't really chase me. Even if they don't switch, they might push a bit on the left. This way Bosphorus can have an advantage over Sparta and use his two enders, while the enemy Spartan units support Bosphorus's weaker infantry in the center. It's a good tactic because it spread our allied Sparta thin and I won't really be able to help him, but also prevent them from mixing their units. But let's jump straight into action. The bus Tours are engaging too. This is a good engagement for Sparta because these units are a little bunched up, but Geo is already cycling the charge here. Over here, Bosphor is engaging, so the center is engaging as well. We broke an Aelots over here with our infantry, with my infantry, but of course there's a lot of Spartan support right behind them. The flank is now Sparta's. Bosphorus doesn't really have a lot, and he's gonna exploit this by charging this Thracian swords. That is a good charge. That's a good charge over there. They need to stretch thinner. They need to push some more units over to the side. Otherwise, they won't really be able to punch through the center of the Spartan uh, formation. Over here, enemy Sparta is pushing harder. This is definitely to engage this Spartan units over here. This, ah, uh, dang it. The Spartan sword is not engaged properly. I am keeping my distance, I can't really kill anything. I'm shooting the Halots over here. I'm wrecking them with my missile cavalry, but of course, this is only Halots. The real fight is going on right here. And Sparta is holding really well, but now Geo is moving some more uh, bus friend Taurus, and he's fighting this Taurus. They got, uh, yeah, he definitely caught him off guard, but I think he was charging the, the cavalry, so they are both off guard. Now the Thracian Romphias are coming in, and this will be a big threat. Sparta, um, I think he found a hole here. He exploited this hole to go through and stop this Kitian Huxman from shooting their four ammunition. So that is, I guess, a good charge, even though this um, this sword infantry is dying very quickly. I'm going, I'm going behind, and I'm realizing right now that although I cannot really engage Sparta, I could have at least 
pretended with one of my cavalry to go over here and actually pose some kind of threat to Bosphorus rear, because in that case, he would have had to move this cavalry straight back over to this side and try to protect his rear, even though I didn't really want it to go in. But let's see what's going on here. The Spartan infantry is being Spartan <laughs> indeed. They're holding pretty well, but of course, the strong part of Bosphorus's attack is on the side where his uh, Falksmen are. The center broke, of course, they, again, they pose no threat to Sparta, but look at this, Sparta's holding everywhere. This reformed Sparta and Hoplites, extremely, extremely valuable unit, got shot to death by these Halid's Javelin men. So very good value for this unit. But Sparta's holding very well and it's really carrying the battle so far because I can't do anything but keep on running. Look at this, already two units routed without actually, uh, well, they killed a lot, but just because they had so much time to shoot. So that's what's going on here. I'm gonna give a rear charge on this Halid's uh, Javelin men and they're gonna break, but I need to be very careful because there are Spartan Hoplites right behind them. Uh, Sparta's going in over here with his homo, um, well, Spartan Hoplites. I'm going to rear charge this, uh, yeah, Spartan Hoplite again. Maybe I'm gonna break it, but I'm not sure. This is not good, shouldn't have done this. They're going down because of my archers as well, so I, should have, I shouldn't have uh, charged. I lost five men in that charge. One Spartan Hoplites is going down. This Jokin is trying to micro against Blaze's general, but I think this is not a good engagement for him. But he formed Hoplite formation, Blaze has not formed uh, Hoplite formation, but he's lost already a lot of men, so. He's reinforcing with more Taurus, he's trying to pull out his general now. The flank seems to be pretty weak for Sparta. Uh, the center kind of won, but now Geos, all of this infantry will come back. They lost first, but now they all are coming back. So this could be a threat for the Spartan center because like the Spartan center is not really holding that, like it's holding, but not that well. And now Sparta is also reinforcing with this general and more Thurios. My cavalry is still chasing units. That's the best use I can, I can have for them. I'm keeping my spears and swords away. My general is doing the heavy lifting. I'm trying to charge whatever I can and charge the Spartan general to uh, stop him, but it's... Uh, this guy is, this guy is really beefy. Over here, Bosphorus killed the, the I think, the only Spartan uh, cavalry. Bosphoran Noble Cavalry is doing okay, killed 172. And now, yeah, now all this, like, all these units that are coming back will definitely win the side for Bosphorus. This is actually pretty good. Like Geo did um, a pretty good job over here uh, with Bosphorus because Bosphorus is really a bad faction and beating Sparta is actually really rough with, uh, with Bosphorus's infantry only. And he didn't use a lot of cavalry, so that's the infantry work. And it worked really, really well. Of course, he was helped in the center by Blaze's infantry. He wouldn't have had a chance otherwise. I need to engage the soul plights. My general is pulling away. I killed 255 now, but I lost. Well, I mean, this general took pretty heavy casualties. i still going in, still going in. He's active. He's gonna turn his Turios, and I don't know. This charge was not good. I'm I'm falling back my general already, but I should have let it here, honestly, fighting. I think it would have been better, but yeah, he's losing a lot of men. I was trying to support uh, Sparta and uh, save this general, but it's impossible as of now. Trying to route whatever again. Again, I was trying to save this Spartan general. This is very important because if we make it to the end of the battle and the only infantry that is left is my infantry and there is one Spartan general with some cavalry supporting, it's over. I actually can't overwhelm the Spartan general, which is exactly what you need to kill the Spartan general, because otherwise this can make 800 kills, no problem. But if you overwhelm it, it breaks and it's not an issue. That is what is happening now. This, the allied Spartan general who already took a lot of casualties is getting overwhelmed. And this Spartan general is not getting overwhelmed at all. My cavalry is charging again, trying to save that general. That was extremely important at that point. And my cavalry already killed a lot, so they don't have any ammo anymore. This Turo spear is 
actually ridiculous. I think I already charged it once and I'm moving my general here to break this because I thought, okay, this unit now is gonna break right away, right? It didn't. Over here, I charge the general, not a good charge. My cavalry is gonna, is gonna route, but now the Spartan allied general is dead. Well, it's going, I don't know if it's dead. So now we have a big issue and the balance of power, look at this, shifted again back to what it was because the only general we have is my general and my general sustained a lot of casualties already. The bus run general killed, oh my God, almost 500 kills on this bus run general, pretty good. But this bus run general is still alive. But most importantly, the Ipes, the Spartan general is still alive. And he literally have no idea on how to actually fight this. But over here, these Turios are still holding. My archers did a lot of kills, but I'm using these archers here only to keep the Spartan general from attacking this uh, pocket of units here because I wanted to break this two, uh, these two tutorials. This was the plan. The plan was you kill these two tutorials, then we maybe have enough to actually break the, the Spartan general. Again, I am very scared to go against the tutorials because they will kill my cavalry. So I, I don't know how to actually break them because my infantry is not breaking them at all. I fake a charge here, then I pull back. My Now my general is going in against the tutorials. Let's see if they actually die. They are down to 200 kills. They now turn to face my general. It's down to 74. Didn't lose a single man in this charge, but they are not routing. And I go against the back of this Entoipo, whatever, um, two rails, and I charge with all my uh, cavalry. And now the, spar the boss friend general is going in as well, but he gets stuck. He gets stuck in something, maybe my cavalry and I have the possibility to run my general back. He's only lost one man, but these Turios are still fucking fighting. This is unbelievable. I break this unit and I charge the rear of this two, uh, Spartan uh, Turios, but now my cavalry is breaking and all you got left here is the Spartan general and the boss friend general is now chasing whatever, whatever. but if he charges my general, it's a, it's a, big, it's a big risk. I, I may lose the general, but I'm pulling away already. And if this Turios Spears break, and he, it's broken now, it's broken. So now my Turios can support and stop the Bosphoran General. Let's see, he's down to 87. Let's see how much he loses in this, in the attempt to uh, pull out from the Turios. He's lost quite a bit already. Now I'm gonna give a charge order on this with my General. Okay. Well, because this is exhausted, so I can definitely catch him. Is down to 79, lost a lot in that um, Turo's fight. The Spartan general is going uh, after my my Axis, so tribal warriors. They're routing, but they should, they should come back. Uh, more Spartan, uh, Scythian tribal warriors fighting Turo's. Turo's again, really holding a lot. I think he turned and that's, that's why he's breaking. He used an effect, but that will not save this boss friend general, I use this cavalry to stop the boss friend general because if I can get the boss friend general, maybe, maybe the units that are broken now will not come back and this cavalry will be much easier to break. So this is my plan. I just take the general, kill him, and then we deal with the Spartan general with whatever we have left, with it, which is basically my general and a couple of units. But let's see, let's see, because now it, if I can get this general, this can actually give us a chance to break the Spartan gen as well. Because as of now, they don't really have a lot. Now, I didn't see this cavalry when I was fighting the battle, but I'm killing the Spartan, the boss friend general so, so well. Let's see though, this charge will probably kill my general as well. Wow, I lost four already, five. Oh, damn, my general's taking a beating. My Thurios are going to support, are going to support, but as soon as this cavalry breaks, yeah, he realizes and pulls back. The general is gone, so that's good. I gotta try and kill this cavalry, but this is seven speed, I won't catch him. I need to rest my general as well as tired. We have two axes, two tribal warriors. One light cavalry that's already routing. <laughs> and one um, slave archer, haloed archer. Oh wow, Gio is charging straight into the um, tribal warriors. He's, I'm not sure he's gonna break him. Yeah, wow, that was actually a good charge. These heavy horse archers are really, really good. I'm throwing in my uh, my Scythian archers as well, so I can kill some some of them, but it's not really working. 
It's down to 49, 49, but it's already here. It is still here. All right, it's still fighting. My Scythian Axemen now are, um, Scythian tribal warrior, warriors are now riding, so I pull them back. And just like that, they broke two units, and now we are, we're left with less infantry than they have. And now it's charging into my uh, tribal warriors. My tribal warriors are doing pretty well for now. Spartan General is going to reinforce, and this will be the end for this tribal warriors. So what is left now is the Spartan General, one Thuros Spear, one more Thuros, actual Thuros Spear, um, and this heavy horse archers. And we only have this shit, <laughs> this shitty Skitho Bosran um, Spearman and one General. This looks extremely decisive, the balance of power is looking very bad, but let's see, because... This can still turn. Tours are now charging against the tourist spear. Uh, well, the um, the bus front spear. They are doing okay. They're just exhausted. Spartan generals coming in. This will be pretty rough for my boys. This cavalry. Okay, look at what happens here with this cavalry. Because I wanted to charge the tourists, but then I made my mind and I didn't want to actually charge them. Just pretending. He wanted to go against my spears, but he doesn't because he sees my, my general. So he, he tries to go in here, but then he realizes he wants to go against the tourists. Then I realize he's pulling away, so I charge. I charge this uh, tourist first, and then I give a charge on this uh, swords, but I also pull my um, my Skitho boss friend's um, spearman against this. And now look at this. The heavy horse archers are breaking. The tourists are breaking as well. And my general is still alive if I can make it. If the Skitho Bosphoran Turos actually hold, then we have a chance. Oh, now they're routed. They're broken. I need, I need to make sure that they come back. So if the Spartan general keeps on chasing them, it's bad. He's not in all plight formation, so I charge and maybe, maybe this will work. This is literally the only chance I have. Army losses is now kicking in. Look at the balance of power. Come on, general, you can do it. The Turos unfortunately broke and this is a defeat, unfortunately, but the battle was super fucking close. Now I have a lot of kills, but most of the kills I have are on Oplites and Routed units. And you can see it on my horse archers, they killed a lot. My archers did really, really good, as well as my infantry, because I could just focus on shooting, and that's what you want to do with nomadics. Jokin resisted the first attack from Bosphorus, uh, Bosphoran, the Bosphoran shitty infantry routed, but then they came back, and when they came back they found a, a much lighter and um, depleted Sparta with no reinforce from me or from the routing units and they just broke Sparta so effectively and the real disaster was of course that he lost the, the Hippes, the Spartan general in that way. Of course the Spartan general would have changed everything for us in the end because my infantry again is not really able to fight. Lazier did a lot of kills, he did pretty well. His Halos archers actually did kill quite a bit. His Halots, they didn't kill anything because I just shoot them to death. This Turio Spears did really really well. The swords did okay. Halots, Javelin men, this look like not much but they used this Javelin men against the only reformed Spartan Oplite. So even though the kills are not much, the value is actually pretty good on this two uh, javelin men. And of course the Spartan general made 681 kills, but hold tight because Geo has something to offer. 803 kills on the Bosphoran general. His cavalry also did very well. His infantry, of course, is not good. That's what you're seeing here. Not good infantry, not doing a lot of kills. The Romphias are good, right? But these are not the best Romphias. And when your infantry is such garbage, you actually can't use your two enders as effectively as you would do if you had a sturdier infantry. But yeah, thanks for watching the battle and see you next time. Bye bye.